Okay, everybody, I put one glaze down. I thought I had videoed it and <laughs> nothing showed up on, the, on my phone. So I'm gonna put the second glaze on. This is the brush I'm using. It's a little hake Japanese brush, but if you have something like this or uh, even smaller like this, um, you could use this for the little areas, but something a little bigger because you have to work fast. So I'm going to put some yellow and I'm just going to work real fast, but carefully. Um, so this will give it a, an orange tint. And there we go. I'm going to move over side by side, you know, and take turns doing it on each side so that the other side doesn't dry up. And I can go right over this. I don't know what this little thing is over here. I think the paper had some, uh, maybe from um, finger fingerprints. So there's a little hair. That'll come off. I had one over here and that one came off after the first glaze. So put at least two glazes on, but you don't want to get too dark. So I think I would just leave this here. And then be sure that it's completely dry. Oh, I didn't get that. And then you're going to peel off your mask. And you're going to peel off your mask by starting on the inside and pulling it out. And see if you can get it going. And then you go like this so that you're not scrubbing all the time. Some liquid masks, especially the Winsor Newton, you have to scrub. But that's another reason why I like this, this mask. Okay. That's it.